This video is all about how to solve DC circuits with parallel resistors. So consider the circuit shown below. Calculate the current flowing through each resistor. So let's call this resistor 1 and resistor 2. How can we determine how much current flows through the resistor? Well, we can use Ohm's law. V is equal to IR. So the voltage of the battery, which is the voltage across each resistor, that's going to equal the current flowing through the resistor times the resistor itself. So to calculate the current, it's going to be the voltage divided by that particular resistor. So we have 12 volts across this resistor. And if we divide it by 4 ohms, that's going to give us a current of 3 amps flowing through that resistor. So that's I1. Now to calculate I2, it's going to be the voltage of the battery divided by R2, which is 6 ohms. So the current flowing through this resistor is 2 amps. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Now how much current is delivered by the battery? Now keep in mind there's 2 amps of current flowing in this section of the wire. The current released by the battery is the sum of the currents flowing through each resistor. The current that flows through this segment has to be 5 amps. And it makes sense because at this junction, 2 went to the right and 3 amps went below. So the 2 amp current flows through this portion of the wire and then it meets up with the 3 amp current where it returns to the battery with a current of 5 amps. Now let's move on to part C. How much power is absorbed by each resistor? So let's start with resistor 1. To calculate the power, you could use this formula. It's going to be I1 squared times R1. So there's a current of 3 amps flowing through that resistor and the resistance is 4 ohms. So 3 squared is 9 times 4, that's 36. So 36 watts of power is consumed by R1. Now let's focus on R2. Now another equation I'm going to use is V squared divided by R. In a parallel circuit, the voltage of each resistor is the same. It's equal to the voltage of the battery. So we have 12 volts across that resistor, and then we're going to divide it by R2, which is 6 ohms. So 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 2 times the other 12 is 24. So 24 watts is used up by this resistor. Now let's calculate the power delivered by the battery. So we're going to use this equation, voltage times current. The battery is 12 volts, and it delivers a current of 5 amps. So 12 times 5 is 60 watts. Now as you can see, notice that the power delivered by the battery, which is 60, is equal to the total power absorbed by all of the resistors. 36 plus 24 is 60, and it has to be balanced. Due to the law of conservation of energy, the rate at which energy is transferred from the battery is equal to the rate at which the resistors absorb that energy. Now let's move on to the last part. Calculate the total resistance in a circuit. Now there's two ways in which we can do that. The first way is to take the voltage of the battery and divide it by the total current in a circuit. So we have a 12 volt battery and 5 amps of current is the total current in a circuit. So it's going to be 12 divided by 5. And so the equivalent resistance of this circuit is 2.4 ohms. Now we can use a formula to confirm this answer. And for a parallel circuit, 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So if you raise both sides to the minus 1, the total resistance becomes this, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 raised to the negative 1 power. So R1 is 4 and R2 is 6. 1 fourth plus 1 over 6, that's 5 over 12. And if you raise that to the minus 1, you get 12 over 5, which is 2.4 ohms.
So this will give you the same answer. And so now you have two ways in which you can calculate the total resistance of a parallel circuit. Now let's work on a similar example, but with three resistors. And we're going to answer the same questions. So you could try this problem if you want to. So we're going to say that this is a 3 ohm resistor, this is going to be a 4 ohm resistor, and then here we're going to have an 8 ohm resistor. And we're going to use a 24 volt battery. So go ahead and calculate the current in each resistor. Let's call this R1, R2, and R3. So to calculate I1, it's going to be the voltage of the battery divided by R1. So that's going to be 24 volts divided by 3 ohms. And so that's going to be 8 amps of current that flows through this uh, resistor. Now to calculate I2, it's going to be the voltage divided by R2. So it's the 24 volt battery divided by the 4 ohm resistor. So the current that flows through this segment is 6 amps. Now for I3, we're going to do the same thing. It's going to be V divided by R3. So 24 volts divided by 8 ohms. And so I3 is equal to 3 amps. Now let's calculate the total current. The total current in the circuit is going to be I1 plus I2 plus I3 based on Kirchhoff's current law. So if we add 8 plus 6 plus 3, 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. So 17 amps of current leaves the battery. Now according to Kirchhoff's current law, the current that enters this junction equals the current that leaves the junction. So we have 17 amps that's entering, 17 amps must leave it. So notice that 8 amps went down this way. That means the other 9 amps has to flow through this part of the wire. Now once we reach this junction, 9 amps enters it, 6 amps flows in the downward direction, so 3 amps has to flow this way. And then 3 amps come back and flows this way. And then at this point, the 3 amp current meets up with the 6 amp current. And so 9 amps is going to be flowing in this wire. And then the 9 amp current meets up with the 8 amp current. And so 17 amps flows back to the battery. And so hopefully this gives you a good visual illustration of how the current flow works in a circuit. Now let's move on to part D. How much power is delivered by the battery? And also part C. How much power is absorbed by each resistor? So to calculate the power absorbed by the first resistor, I'm going to use I1 squared times R1. So we have 8 amps of current flowing through that resistor, and the resistance is 3 ohms. So 8 squared is 64 times 3. That's 192 watts. Now let's move on to the second resistor. So I'm going to use V squared divided by R. So the voltage across every resistor in a parallel circuit is going to be the same, 24 volts. And the resistance is 4 ohms. 24 squared is 576 divided by 4. So that means that 144 watts of power is consumed by the second resistor. Now for the last one. So P3 is going to be, I'm going to use voltage times current. There's 12 volts across it, and the current that flows through it is 3 amps. So then 24 times 3, that's 72 watts. So now let's calculate the power delivered by the battery. It's a voltage times current, 
So it's going to be 24 volts multiplied by 17 amps. And so the battery delivers 408 watts. So if we add 192 plus 144 plus 72, it adds up to 408, which means everything so far is correct. Now, just like before, we're going to calculate the total resistance using this equation. It's voltage divided by the total current. So the voltage of the battery is 24 volts, and the total current is 17 amps. So the total resistance is much less than each individual resistor. The lowest resistance is 3 ohms. Every time you add a resistor in a parallel circuit, the total resistance decreases. In a series circuit, every time you add a new resistor, the total resistance increases. So if you take 24 and divide it by 17, you'll get an equivalent resistance of 1.41 ohms. Now let's get the same answer using this formula. So it's going to be 1 divided by R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 raised to the negative 1. So it's 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. And this will give you the same answer of 1.41 ohms.